Yeah, I, I love I love uh, when I can when I can uh, when I get the chance to show, you know, my teammates and the team, you know, how I can how I can perform and how I can do good for the team. That's all I want to do. You know, I just want to. I want to be the best player when I go out there, and I want to, uh, you know, show everyone what I what I have. You know, uh, as a rookie, you know, you have a lot of people that um, maybe they underestimate you, but um, you know, that's that's kind of my motivation. That's what I use every time I go out on the court, and I just want to, you know, do good for the team and help the team as much as I can. The first thing, which is a blessing. Uh, uh, our team manager had us um, all got like we all were given a bike, a uh, workout bike to use, and a few weights and stuff. To that, um, our strength uh, strength coach uh, he sent us a few workouts that we have to do like throughout the weeks to try to keep in shape. The guys that had COVID, of course, they had the rest, but the guys who weren't and the guys who felt good, it was a chance for us to really uh, you know kind of stay in some type of good shape so that we weren't. We didn't fall too much behind so that when we came back to the court, we could uh, contribute still, you know, and, and, and that was really that was really beneficial because, uh, you know, I got to really focus on, uh, you know, just trying to keep keep trying trying to be the same, trying to be the same me, you know, so uh, it was it was a it was something to go through. Um, but you know, just like any challenge, you have to you have to be able to get through it. So I think that um, I think we did a good job as a team. The biggest shock, you know, um, is do, it's not just not just the uh, new environment, the new basketball, new playing style. Because you know, basketball is basketball, and if and if you love it, you're going to be able to adjust to anything. Um, but it was just the dealing with the COVID, and 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 not being able to embrace the country, embrace Santiago and and embrace all the fans all around. So, um, you know, hopefully one day, you know, that'll be possible. But um but yeah, it was that's that's probably the bigger the bigger challenge. Dealing with that and then uh, you know, just having such a a, a simple life, you know, out outside of basketball and you know, it's just a lot of rules right now. So that's that's the bigger challenge. Yeah, um, I feel like um, the talent level is, is definitely going up here. And uh, the more and more time, or th as we go on, you know, basketball's revolution or evolution, uh, people be able to do everything at all heights, you know? You just be this tall, this tall, you gotta be able to do everything. Dribble, gotta be able to shoot, you know? but. Uh, that's just, that's just, I just love the way basketball is coming along, you know, progressing. So I think uh, one day, you know, we'll have guys who are, I don't know, probably like Tavares height, be able to shoot and <laughs> dribble and stuff. And it was, it was good, man. Going, I wish I could rewind time. I wish I could rewind time sometimes because before, you know, basketball and before, uh, you know, I was traveling everywhere, seeing my family less. You know, we'd I'd see my family all the time. You know, I wish I could just go back to those times, and 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 especially now, I start to think about it more often since I'm like you know more alone or more on my own. But uh, but uh, I just I'll never take those times for granted, and you know I always remember that t those times. But it was it was great for the most part, you know. So. Just like anybody's love for their family, mine grows every day. Um, communications, you know, um, sports media. I'm, I'm really, uh, I really like that. Uh, one day, I feel like I'll um, take up that profession. But um, you know, believe it or not, I wouldn't be able to. Like a few years ago, I wouldn't be able to come here and, and talk to you like I am right now. So communications has helped me a lot, and uh, I feel like I'd be able to use. Um, my voice and an image to uh, to my ability one day. So maybe in the future you will be a commentator, like analyzing the game or, or something. Commentator, analyst, uh, man, something to do with the game. I, I love the game so much that I want to just you know, I want to work, I want to work for it like the rest of my life. So, um, you know, before COVID, I was a uh, 
you know, once or actually once COVID hit, I, I didn't know where I would end up, you know, in terms of my basketball career. And uh, over Dorio, you know, they just they I talked to the coaches first and, uh, you know, they they really made me feel comfortable from 4000 plus miles away, man. It was it was an amazing, amazing uh, conversations I had with everyone from uh, Mancho to to Victor Gonzalo to Ruben, everybody. Uh, you know, it was just they just made me feel really comfortable about coming here and made me feel like family before I signed the contract, man. So uh, it was really easy for me to pick um, where I wanted to go play. You know, Mancho is a coach, man. I can I can talk to Mancho about anything. You know, in the past, I didn't have coaches where, or I was hesitant to really like go to coaches and talk to them about, you know, any frustrations or difficulties I'm going through as a player. And uh, Mancho is not one of those coaches, you know, he really cares about his players. He really cares about me and, and, and what I'm going through, especially in this first year. I feel like he understands it more than any coach has in the past. You know, uh, any type of problems I'm having or, or how much I'm enjoying, enjoying the game, like he can see that too, you know. So um, I'm really thankful. That's, that was another reason why it was easy for me to come to this team because, uh, you know, Mancho is very understanding, you know, and he, he'll, he'll push you, he'll push you to, uh, to a certain limit. But like if you, if you go to him and express like, you know, whatever, he's, he's, he's willing to, you know, he's willing to, to adjust you know, and, and coaches in the past that I've dealt with, they just, they expect you to adjust to them. And, and you know, um, of course you have to, as a basketball player, be able to deal with that and, and uh, be able to be ready to deal with that. But, um, you know, Montrose, he's, he's, he's a lot more understanding than coaches I've had in the past. So I'm really thankful.